show you the new Outworlds installer for OpenSim. It's a single click start and stop OpenSim hypergrid enabled replacement for the old and kind of virus laden sim on a stick. What you do is you go to outworlds.com outworlds underscore installer and download this zip file. Once you've extracted it you'll find a series of files in here and you click start. It will run a few diagnostics, create a icon on your desktop and be ready to start. Uh, one thing it'll do is it'll install the OnLook viewer which is a very nice simple viewer designed for new people who don't want to be confused by all of the buttons found in the normal viewer. It's also a full mode viewer like Singularity. You can turn a switch on and have all the full features that you're used to having. So it's a simplified, easy to use OpenSim. So let's take a look at it. We're going to start it. It brings up a user interface and runs a couple of diagnostics in the background. It checks out your router and say uses universal plug and play to open up the firewall ports. It diagnoses the loopback capability, the ability of the firewall to bring the hypergrid ports in and out. If those fails, it'll give you some hints and suggestions on how to fix that. You can also go to the help and take a look up help on for port forwarding, help on loopback if, if for workarounds for Windows boxes. Uh, I don't know of any reason why anybody can't hypergrid with this system. You may have to go in and manually adjust your router if your universal plug and play is turned off. You may have to add a device driver for Windows if the loopback doesn't work. But if it does, then you just one click to get it to go. So we're ready to launch it. We just click start and it should bring up the system. It will give us a hypergrid URL at the end of this process that we can give out to our friends so that they can visit our system. It has default content in it. A particular one is this sim here by Gary Beaumont, which I've added some of uh, Benny Eretic's cool vehicles to. And set up a little spaceport for you to go flying off in this spaceship. But that's not all. you got all kinds of other things you can do. Under content, you can load a different island. For example, we can do an empty ore. This will cause the system to immediately clear the screen. We'll probably uh, have an empty one. Now we can uh, create a little island. Now when it does this, it automatically makes a backup of your system as an OR file. You can then load an OR file, uh, load a backup automatically from where it's been saving them in that folder. It's got um, a lot of nice capability. So for example, we decide we want a little bigger file. This is a sim that it will download by Linda Kelly. It only takes a, depending on your download speed of course, it has to download the ore, then load it and res it like this. And it always makes a backup before it saves anything. Uh, there's a lot of nice settings for advanced people. You can turn the console on and off so you can see the actual OpenSim in operation here. You can change the viewer type to any of the other viewers as well. This will take you to pages where you can download Catsnip cats or Koku or Alchemy or whatever you want. Uh, with OnLook it uses a creates a full UI like this. This is the one you're used to. You can also get a very simplified UI as well. Um, there's an advanced settings box where you can set up things like different sizes of sims, whether you have grid gods, turn on and off auto backup and set it for different periods of time. Uh, it has a personality control for the background wallpaper over here, how long you want it to run or not. Hello Q, this is Q, a fairy bot. Uh, the Wi-Fi interface is also available. This allows you to create your own avatars, allow people to join your grid. Um, allow you to approve them, uh, send them emails and such to let uh, you know that someone just joined your grid. So you can enable confirmation or turn it off. 
and it also has a set of ports which means you can run this on more than one computer if you have two computers at home you could run it on make create one of them as a server or two of them as servers by just changing these ports to be unique each time uh, so the diagnostic port is how it tests for loopback there's always a public port that has to be exposed a private and a region that has to be done by just changing some of these numbers here you can have more than one sim running on your uh, your home network it also comes with some avatar parts uh, links to free places diagnostics it'll even diagnose the database so here I've got a slightly corrupted database I will go ahead and repair it and you can see the database has now been fixed and is fully intact this is something I haven't done in three years on my network, which was a bit of a surprise. I didn't realize how things need to be uh, to fixed periodically. And of course, there's a you want to give out how to get here. Just tell your friends this address, and you should be able to visit them. So we'll try a nice big one here. This is uh, Stormhaven Port Aurora. You see, also it's announcing to your visitors in world that new content is loading. Um, being backed up so they'll know to watch out for a little lag spike in your new world. So here comes Arcadia Asylum, uh, wonderful Port Aurora. This is the Pirate Sim. It's delicious. I love this uh, Pirate Sim here where all of the um, dynamite and such is. Let's let that load. There we go. This is Napoleon Blown Apart, dynamite, gunpowder, bombs, cannons, mines, and party poppers place. Lovely content. So anyway, I hope you enjoy playing with your new world. Oh, if you want to get out, just click stop. It will bring your system to a halt. Or just log out. Anytime you want to join the hypergrid, click the out worlds and click start.